at this behind me, uh, there's a lot of other issues that could, that could cause these types of symptoms besides just nematodes. Okay, uh, this could be caused by root rotting fungi, for example. And, and so often, uh, nematode damage can be misdiagnosed. Uh, another thing that happens is uh, when you have nematodes working on these roots, okay, they wound the roots and let fungi get in. So in almost every sample where, uh, for example, you have sting nematodes, if you sit up to a lab, they're going to come back, they're going to find pythium in there because nematodes damage the roots and pythium just starts growing and damage roots. Same thing with um, like uh, lance nematodes and gamanomyces and things like that. A lot of times you get these nematodes associated with the fungi. You sit up to the lab, they'll find the fungi and you may apply your treatments and it doesn't help. Okay, so uh, it's important that you look at, at nematodes as well as fungi. Now in Florida we kind of have the opposite problem where people want to blame nematodes for everything. And so they'll have bad grass and uh, they'll just start treating okay, for nematodes uh, without taking a sample. Uh, and the grass doesn't get better. Or uh, so in those cases you're not only wasting your time and money on the, the pesticides but also applying pesticides unnecessarily. So it's really important that you send both disease and nematode samples into labs to really get an idea of what the problem is, okay? And, uh, or sometimes it's both working together and you need to treat both. And that's why often we get uh, uh, better uh, results using a nematicide with a fungicide than just using the nematicide or the fungicide by themselves. <music>